The topic of this video is graphing domain restricted functions. Let's look at a problem. All right. In this problem, we're asked to graph f of x equals x squared if negative 1 is less than or equal to x is less than 2. We recognize f of x equals x squared as one of the functions from the library of functions. So it's very important that we have all of the characteristics of that function memorized. Here are the steps for graphing a domain restricted function. Step one, create the whole graph of the function. Step two, cut vertically and then keep the relevant pieces. And step three, place dots where the curve meets the cut. And this reminds us what kind of dot for the different inequality symbols we might encounter. Okay, let's go through the steps together. First, create the whole graph. Well, this is the square function. This is one of our easier functions from the library of functions. The x values range from negative two to two. And to find y, as the name implies, you just square x. So we get 4, 1, 0, 1, 4. Creating our picture. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we'll plot our points. All right, so this is our parabola. So negative 2, 4 negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4. You need to practice creating the functions in the library of functions so that you can create this graph in approximately two minutes. Okay, great. So that was step one. Create the whole graph. f of x equals x squared. Looks like this. Step two, cut vertically. All right, where do we cut? Well, we look after the word if, and then we get out our scissors, and we cut at any number that we see after the word if. In this case, that would be at negative 1 and positive 2. So we find negative 1 on the x number line and positive 2 on the x number line, and then that is where we cut with our scissors, vertically. So I'm going to create a vertical cut. create a vertical cut all right now my graph has been cut into pieces I started with one graph I cut it twice and so now it's in three pieces the left the right and the middle but what I need to figure out is which part of this graph should I keep and which part of this graph should I throw away well that's where we have to understand how inequalities work Notice that the x is in between the negative 1 and the 2. So what that means is that we want to keep the part of the graph that is in between the negative 1 and the 2. Therefore, all of this goes away. And all of this goes away. Anything outside of those dashed lines is gone. Anything inside the dashed lines is kept. Now, finally, we place dots where the curve meets the cut where the blue curve meets the red cut lines. What kind of dots should we use? Well, at negative 1, the symbol that we see after the word if is less than or equal to. Less than or equal to is a closed dot. So we put a closed dot at negative 1 where the curve meets the cut. The other value is 2. It's next to the inequality symbol less than, which is here. It is absent the equals concept. So this is going to be an open dot at 2 where the blue curve meets the red cut. So right here, we have an open dot on our graph. OK, this is the graph of the domain restricted function f of x equals x squared as long as negative 1 is less than or equal to x is less than 2.